Tonight, hundreds of protesters have cleared out from outside a Jewish conference in downtown Denver. The protesters banged on the window of the convention center as people attending the conference walked past, and they chanted, free Palestine and shut it down. At one point, Denver police warned that they would be using pepper balls on the crowd unless protesters stopped. They backed off at this point. There's a large security presence downtown. We're showing you video from earlier tonight. At this point, the crowd appears to have left for the night. The Jewish National Fund says its conference in Denver will pay tribute to the victims of the October 7th attack by Hamas and talk about the rise in anti-Semitism. Those protesters outside say that nonprofit supports ethnic cleansing and genocide. Democratic Governor Jared Polis spoke inside the conference tonight. He said the attempts to shut down the conference or intimidate people will not succeed. It's that same persecution and violence and that vicious cycle that's taken so many lives throughout our history, most recently in these heinous attacks. And if anyone asks why the world needs a Jewish state of Israel, the evidence is now more self-evident than ever before. The governor says he's encouraged by the ceasefire between Israel and Palestine. He wants the remaining hostages to be free. And he said he's wearing a necklace with dog tags that say, bring them home now. Nine News reporter Rachel Krause is there at the convention center, was inside with attendees at this conference. Uh, Rachel, what did you and they see in here tonight? Yeah, as you mentioned, you know, we were able to hear Governor Jared Polis when he took the stage earlier this evening. He talked about the massacre that happened on October 7th and the impact of that that's been felt all around the world and here in Colorado. He also touched on rising fears and concerns among Jewish Americans as anti-Semitism rates rise all around the country. And you can tell tensions are really high. We had to go through a number of security checks just to be able to come in here tonight and bring you this report. And there have been a large number of armed officers both inside of a Convention Center and out of the building as they work to keep those attending the JNF event here safe. Now, among 2,500 people gathered inside the Convention Center, that includes a number of visitors here from Israel. Avnet Kleiner was born and raised in Israel, his own family and friends feeling the impact after the October 7th attack. Kleiner says his brother, who lives just seven kilometers from Gaza, has been evacuated, told they can't go home until March at the earliest. His best friend, an Army reservist, was one of the first troops to witness the carnage left behind at a kibbutz hit by Hamas. He spent the last 20 hours on a plane to be able to be here over the next few days and share with those here in Denver about what's happening in Israel, a task he's questioned more than once. The last two weeks I debate with myself and my friends that are here, the Israelis, and we thought if we should come, you know, our friends in reserve, our family, my, my kids are alone in Israel, and I thought, should I come or not? But I realized that it's so important for our American brothers and sisters, Jews and non-Jews, to see Israelis, to, to, to hear the real story. It's very important. Kleiner says he is so grateful to be here and grateful for the strength that he's getting from those who are attending the JNF event here in Denver. He hopes his own strength is helping to be shared with the folks who are gathered here. He hopes to continue to share that strength and that message of hope of what's happening in Israel with those here over the next few days before heading home on Monday. All right, Rachel Krauss reporting with the perspective inside that conference. Thank you, Rachel.